Welcome back to Motor Monkeys. Today we are going to be building this motor. We got a new header, um, pretty much a stage 2 kit for it. I got a uh, mod 2 cam, um, different carburetor jet, 22 pound valve springs, um, aluminum flywheel with a um, 4 degree offset um, key for the flywheel. Um, then, what else? What else? What else? Got a header, different carburetor jet. Right now, we are draining the oil. Which this is on the first run. This thing is already looking quite. There's a lot of metal in there already, but I didn't run it hard or long at all. I just kind of Started it, let it run at idle for a little bit, just kind of break it in a little bit. But started it, just let it sit at idle for about a half an hour at a time. And now I'm draining, this is the first time I've drained oil out of it, so hopefully that's just a little bit of um, stuff from the factory. So, but, yep. So, we're gonna let the oil drain out and then we'll continue on from there. All right, so we got the, we're just kind of taking it apart off camera because there's only two people and we wanna, we don't wanna be working on this all night, so. Um, took the valve cover off, got the air box off. He's working on taking out the last bolt for the gas tank. We're gonna have to relocate that for this go-kart. So I don't wanna have to deal with trying to get around the rack to fuel it up, so. Um, get the gas tank off, disconnect the gas lines, and then we'll continue on from there. Right, we now have it down to just the um, block almost. We just got to take off the side cover and the flywheel. So, yeah. Yeah. so that should be it. Alright, so we got the side cover off. We got the old cam pulled out. Right here with its stupid plastic gear and um, took the governor lever off the top here and now the governor this little part of the governor right here if we leave that off this clip can slip around so we have to figure out a way to take this off without having to take out the piston so we are taking a hacksaw to it so and this is going to be the new gear that is going to be going in it. Yep, that's new cam. That's uh, Mod 2, I believe, I think. I believe, I think. <laughs> yeah, Mod 2. I can't remember the specs on it, but it's. I got it from NR Racing. Not um, Go Power Sports, that's NR Racing. None of the only part that I got from Go Power Sports for this is the Juggernaut Clutch. So, we which we are still waiting for. So, yay. Yay. And also, not yay. Okay, so what we ended up doing, I only about saw it about halfway, not even halfway, probably about a third of the way through it. And I just took a crescent wrench, stuck it on there, and snapped it off. So, now we should be able to drop this right on out. Go ahead. So we're grabbing that thing right up there. Is that it? Hopefully it is. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Hold on, we can still Wait. drop it a little more. What is it hitting on now? The entire can. Oh, oh, there it goes. Let's go. Yay! So now we're going to have to fill... I think I've seen where people fill that hole with RTV. So, yeah. Got that uh, out. Kind of scratched up the case a little bit, but that's fine. It's not a load-bearing spot right there, so nice. All right, let me, I will update you in once we have the cam in. Hopefully we can, I think we can pop that gear out right in there. I think we have to have the um, flywheel, off. flywheel off to pop that off. So I will update you when we have an update. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got the cam put in, got the flywheel pulled off. We we pushed out the um, the cam gear, 
a little pin for the cam gear. Got the, not the cam gear, the governor gear. We got that pin pushed out. Got the um, lever for the governor gear taken out. And now I got some RTV that I'm going to, some gasket maker that I'm going to put in those holes. Um, turning the pull cord on that around. Um, we, where's the head go? Here's the head. I already went ahead and changed out the valve springs on this. So now it has two 22 pound valve springs. And that can go back on once we have everything else put back together. And so now we're, it's pretty much back to assembly. Okay, so now I have the flywheel back on. I also have this four degree offset key. And hopefully this picture is right because that is the way I put it on. So if you're looking at it, it's just like this. So you're looking at the crankshaft going this way. It's got the little piece that go, the little piece of the key that goes down into the shaft, and then it has the little. It. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much just like that if you're looking at it straight on the um, offset part. So this top part is going is off to that side of the crank. So hopefully that picture is right. All right, so we got the gas tank back on. We got the head put back on. Got the valve lash set. We set it to point double o three. Um, getting the gas tank back on. Gonna get the carburetor. All set, we already got the new carburetor jet put in, and just for now, because I'm not sure if we have this right, I'm going to go ahead and um, only spin it over, well, I'm going to spin it over without the cover on yet, well, first, just so that way I know that it's set right. Holy cow, that's got some compression right there. Holy moly. <laughs> wow. All right. So, yep, we're going to get to that next. And then after that, we should be able to fire up. After we get the, we got we to gotta modify the exhaust a little bit too. I forgot about that. We got to just take a, take the drill and drill out the, one of the holes a little bit so that way it'll fit better. All right. So we got it all put back together. It's ready to run now. We put oil in it. Just did that. So we're going to take it out there and see if she'll fire. This isn't attached yet because I don't know if the um, key for the flywheel is right. I would show more of the build process, but there's only two of us working here. And I don't have anywhere that I, good that I can set my phone up to take a video of it. So wish I could, but I can't. We're going to try to start this thing up now. Get some choke. Get some power to my drill. <laughs> Stupid thing has over torque or something. Doesn't like that. Hopefully this one will do better. That did the same exact thing. Actually, it'll actually spin it over. Probably would have helped if I had it turning the right way. No, I had it turn there. I don't know. It's not starting. I think the keyway, the key is wrong. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and change around the key right now. I think that's what's wrong. It wouldn't start. All right, I gotta jump in and help him for a second, real quick. 
Or do you think it'll come off? Is it not coming? Put that back on. Where'd the pry bar go? Hold really good pressure on that. I only got one hand. Pop the key up and out. Here's the where's the screwdriver? So yeah, this is how I had it in here. Just like that, you can see how there's a little bit of a gap right here. A little bit of a gap. Where'd that screwdriver go? Flathead here is. So we're gonna pop that out. Spin it around. Hopefully it's right now. That won't go back in. <laughs> there. Let's try that. Go ahead and put it back on. Not need to be hammered down. Yeah, it's good. The um, flywheel will pull it back down. Make sure it's well aligned. Hold on. The key. The key was tipped way too far up. <clears throat> Here. I don't know if I can get the hammer in there. Now try. No, I don't know if I trust that. Here, do you want me to, you want me to try? I think that key's still back. Here. Pop it back up out. Where do you have it? It's where it's at. That's the way I had it before. It got, it's got to be spun around. There, just like that. It's got to go back towards you a little bit. It's got to go back a little. On. It's probably terrible that we're hidden on the crankshaft. <laughs> a little down a little more. Here, hold on, hold on. Right there. That's good. That's the way it was in there before. There we go. Put back on. It's gonna be a little finicky to get that on there. Being terrible about watching where the camera's pointing, I keep on pointing it down and up and all over the place. <laughs> Hopefully, this is a ticket. There, just 
and then just hit it with the impact good. Real good, like. There, that's good. All right, let's get it back outside. Hopefully this is the uh, way. All right, let's try this again. Let's see what it'll do. This is turned on, right? Yes. Oh, Ooh. there it goes. Got a little um, bit. Oh, that's loose. You didn't have a tight. I can that. Hold on, let me grab the impact real quick. Going? You still going? <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I wonder if when I let off. There, try that. Wonder if when I let off, it just kind of spun itself back out. This one won't seem on here straight either. Oh, the gas was all the gas was all the way out. Whoop. It's getting there. Um, that's not good. It doesn't right. Yeah, we almost we thought we almost had it seized there. <laughs> Whoa, that was loud. It fell over. <laughs> um and it also probably doesn't help that there is no load on the throttle. <laughs> nice! We're going to get that worked out with it revving really high. I probably need to just turn down the idle a lot. So... Yeah, we'll go, we'll go ahead and fiddle around with it, and we'll come back once we got it going right. So yeah. Okay, so I had been sitting here fiddling with the um, throttle linkage for a little bit because originally it runs back to underneath the gas tank where the governor lever is, and then runs back to here where it connects. Holy cow. Focus. There we go. So I had to... I took that little rod that would run back to here and bent it. It'll take you, if, you, if you're doing the same thing, it's going to take you a little bit. You're going to have to fiddle with it. I got it, Daniel. Um, you're going to have to fiddle with it. You're going to have to experiment to get it to work just right, but I got it. So that way it, is, it has full motion. I could, I just took the screws out, so I can't show you right now, but it has full motion. I just got to do a little bit of filing right here. So I'll come back here in just a minute. All right, hopefully this will be... The last start of today. Well, actually, hopefully not. Make sure this thing's turned the right way. All right, I'm gonna sit on it this time. So that way it doesn't try to get away from me. This kind of thing. This drill's running low on power. Hopefully, mine will be able to do it now. Actually, just hold this one up. All right, try again. New battery. Is the gas on? Gas is on. It was set to off. Okay, I don't need to be. Actually, it was already revved up a little bit. Screw on top of that and see. Gas is on. Over here. That's on. Okay. All right. Try this again. What are you doing? 
No, I'm already recording. And it's dead. Now we're just giving her a little, little talking to. Okay, I don't know what's up with it. Only firing half the time. And, uh... Um, flywheel bolt fell off. Good thing it didn't run away. Yeah. So I think that's where we're going to leave it for tonight. I can't get it to stay running, and it won't start very easily. So I think that's where we're going to have to leave it for tonight. We might try it again when we're working on the front suspension. Yep, uh, I do have the parts for the su front suspension. Um, we'll be repainting the frame. And um, he's going to powder coat the front A-arms for me. And um, we'll... I'll, I'll fiddle with this off camera and update you guys if it's running good. Once we're doing the suspension. Alrighty. So, thanks for watching Moto Monkeys for tonight. Um, like, subscribe, share the videos, and we'll see you later.